I want to head back to the courthouse um, in D.C., the federal courthouse where Michael Flynn is inside. Evan Perez is outside and he's getting some more detail. Evan? That's right, Kay. We have now uh, an on-the-record statement from uh, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, retired General Michael Flynn. I'll read you the entire statement. Uh, he says, uh, after over 33 years of military service to our country, including five years in combat away from my family, and then my decision to continue to serve the United States, is, it has been an extraordinarily painful to endure these many months of false accusations of treason and other outrageous acts. Such false accusations are contrary to everything I have stood, I've ever done and stood for, but I recognize that the actions I acknowledge in court today were wrong, and through my faith in God, I am working to set things right. My guilty plea and agreement to cooperate with the special counsel's office reflect the decision I made in the interest, best interests of my family and of our country. I, expect, I accept full responsibility for my actions. There you have Michael Flynn for the first time officially acknowledging that he uh, obviously has pleaded guilty and he has agreed to cooperate with the Office of Special Counsel. Obviously a very painful day for somebody who has served uh, the country for uh, three decades. Uh, we know his family members uh, were in court today watching this all go down. He's going to exit this courthouse uh, with uh, people holding signs that say lock him up people power versus Putin power, people who obviously are very uh, unhappy with uh, the Trump administration and uh, with uh, what Michael Flynn has done. Uh, but uh, there's no doubt, you know, after serving the country for 30, 30 years, uh, it's a difficult day for Michael Flynn to be pleading guilty to a federal crime in the courthouse here in, in Washington. Yeah, I mean, and of course, Michael Flynn very famously during the Republican convention joined in the chance of lock her up. That's probably one of the sources of why those signs are out there now. Um, let me go back to Jeffrey Tubin and Michael Moore back with me. Um, so, Jeffrey, we now have confirmation from Michael Flynn himself in this statement that he is cooperating with the special counsel's office. Um, what do, do we find out what that co what that cooperation is? Well, we don't know the, the, the full extent of it. We know that he has agreed to cooperate and be fully debriefed in this in this the, the information that the prosecutor is saying in court, even as we speak right here, uh, is is certainly part of, of the information he provided. If I can just react a little to to uh, Michael Flynn's statement there, you know, he served for 33 years. And, uh, you know, I think it's an insult to uh, the, the, the hundreds of thousands of veterans in this country who manage to serve their country admirably for 30 years or three years and then not become convicted felons. You know, just because you served your country uh, in the military uh, doesn't mean that you get, to, you get a pass for being a convicted felon, which is what uh, Michael Flynn is, is right now. You know, most uh, veterans in this country are honorable, law-abiding citizens. They are not felons like Michael Flynn. So the idea that you know he he gets um, you know he gets credit, um, and and it's somehow an excuse that that he served uh, that he served his country, I think uh, is pretty unpersuasive, at least to me.